Hi, my name is Mahmoud Mbabi. I am an information system security engineer and engineering team lead at General Dynamics Information Technology, GDIT. I have been in the information technology sector and have been working with information security and cybersecurity for closing in on about 10 years now. Even though I did not have a educational background in information technology, but I've always been fascinated and I've always admired computers all throughout my life. I was always fascinated with how computers are becoming more and more integrated into our lifestyle, how we're able to utilize them to bring more ease and convenience, uh, regardless of what aspect of our lives are being affected. I also was really impressed with their, the different systems, the different applications, and how they uh, integrate themselves, enriching our daily experiences and bringing not only just information to our fingertips, but also processes, and nowadays also bringing services to us. So since the start of my IT journey, it's always been my focus on one primary target and goal, which has been to continuously develop myself, expand my knowledge, expand my understanding, and be able to acquire as much experience in the very, very vast uh, field of information technology and try to be abreast with as many different technologies and as many different systems as I possibly can. And over the course of 10 years, I have been successfully able to understand concepts within the fields of IT architecture and infrastructure, information security and data analytics, risk and vulnerability management, cloud platforms, services and security, ethical hacking and penetration testing, and compliance and continuous monitoring. Uh, exposure within the cybersecurity field specifically caught my eye more than any other field of IT due to its diverse and engaging nature. It was not like much other areas of IT where it's a simple set of rules or manuals or protocols that you are able to follow in order to complete a task. However, it was a form of understanding, a form of problem solving that's embedded into so many different programs that are the root of our normal life experiences and play a major role in what we do every day. For example, our banking, our shopping, even our transportation. And being able to be continually challenged and to be able to work within teams and lead teams as well to secure these systems and be able to see the direct result of my input and my work in the daily experiences of people's lives and all the activities that I do every day is not only very rewarding, but also interesting and engaging. And for me to be able to work in an environment that allows me to be challenged, to solve problems, to be able to use and unleash my creativity in order to build, tool, to build collaborative tools, to be able to build resources, and solutions is something that the cybersecurity industry specifically began to provide me. And as I continue to become further engaged within the cybersecurity field and its challenging nature, uh, I began to communicate my interests to a lot of my colleagues and my mentors at Silox Solutions, which is one of the institutes that I used in my training. And my mentors at Silox not only continuously worked with me and helped me, helping me to plan my future helping me to uh, identify, hone, and improve my skills, but also to continue my training. And I was able to isolate and identify cybersecurity as my primary area of interest. And I am working uh, very eagerly to continue along this field and hopefully make it my area of major expertise along the remainder of my professional career. So when I initially started to consider focusing more on cybersecurity as my um, primary area of operations within the information technology sector, I began to do my own research. I also began to ask many of my colleagues, many of my professors, my supervisors, and my business mentors at Psylock for uh, their recommendations because it was my initial plan to be able to put a thorough and very well-structured development plan in order to acquire as much experience and as much skills as I can within the entire cybersecurity field to be able to operate successfully as an information security consultant. Upon further research and, dis and many discussions from a, um, 
discussions with my supervisors, professors, colleagues, and also including research of my own, I was able to come to the conclusion and based on very, very high recommendations from my mentors to begin my cybersecurity certifications with the EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacking Program. Uh, IT certifications are, if not, one of the most successful ways to begin exposure to more and more different sectors of the information uh, technology industry. And not only that, you're able to be very, very specific in what you study based on the nature of the jobs that you're looking for. And being able to be at the same time globally recognized for your skills in one specific area or one specific sector of information technology. All of my, um, all of the recommendations that I got and all of the advice I got from my mentors was actually pivoted towards EC Council Certified Ethical Hacking Program. They unanimously advised me to begin with that IT certification because it would allow me a very diverse understanding of information technology and specifically cybersecurity. Uh, they all very much praised the value of it and how it assisted them as a lot of them were also CEH certified how it actually opened up their ability to look at various problems within uh, information security, be able to have the mindset of malicious hackers when they are trying to access certain computer systems. Also, at the same time, an understanding of threats, vulnerabilities, how to ma be able to physically manage them and how to be proactive in their approach working in the information security sector every single day. And because of that, I began to really consider EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacking Program and went with it as one of the primary uh, certifications and one of the most dependable certifications that I use material. Until this day, I always go back to my CEH program. I always go back to my materials to consistently update myself, to consistently remind myself on how to uh, be proactive, how to approach thinking in many different situations within my everyday job. So I was quickly introduced to CEH through recommendations by my supervisors and mentors at Psylock. And as I began the program and I continued to get more into it, I very quickly began to realize the value of CEH and what it can actually bring, not only as a globally recognized IT certification, but the hands-on understanding and the mindset and experience that it will allow me to have and I can apply it in uh, my job every day according to the, the jobs that were of interest to me at the time. Um, CEH has a, a wide variety of domains and subdomains which pretty much cover almost all the activities that take place within um, information technology tasks. Uh, not only that, but they also have hands-on training scenarios and real-life application scenarios, which allow you, which allowed me personally to very strongly grasp the concepts as I was reading them and studying them. And um, once I was actually able to get certified, a very wide variety of jobs and many opportunities within the information technology sector began to present themselves and open up. I was able to update my resume with skills like vulnerability management, penetration testing, and um, information security. However, multiple opportunities like um, information security systems engineers, information architecture, penetration tester, ethical hacker, vulnerability manager, all of these, um, all of these job opportunities began to present themselves once I became certified with CEH. And these are only just, you know, really a few of the many important aspects that make CEH such a powerful program. Um, and its certification and its knowledge and experience actually one of the very, very pivotal things that any information technology consultant must have in his knowledge arsenal. Well, I believe CEH is a very, very well recognized IT certification within the information technology sector and by extension to my organization, General Dynamics. Uh, General Dynamics Information Technology provides many information security services to a wide variety of uh, different government agencies, in addition to many private sector groups as well. Uh, right now, with our ability uh, to, since the COVID-19 pandemic, 
to work remotely from anywhere within the continental U.S., many information security consultants can now work on a very wide variety and have access to a plethora of job opportunities that were not available to them before. And I believe this really brings more value and more recognition for IT certifications like uh, the CEH certification. Because right now, CEH certified information security consultants do not have to be restricted to certain job opportunities or certain locations, but can be able to access more and more job opportunities in many different sectors, in many different fields within the job market because of their ability to have a certification like CEH and also have the flexibility to work from home from anywhere in the country. Oh, absolutely. Um, CEH definitely opened a lot of doors for me, including the consideration for the role that I currently occupy as Senior Information System Security Engineer and Engineering Team Lead as General Dynamics. That role actually became available to me once I had acquired my CEH certification. Um, I believe through the skills that I acquired within uh, the time studying and getting certified with the CEH program, I was able to add a wide range and a large variety of different skills to my resume, in addition to expanding my understanding and knowledge of the information security sector. And this made me so much more in demand within the job market and actually allowed me to acquire more interest to be hired by employers and allowed more opportunities and a different variety of roles than what I was currently used to, to open up for me. So I actually attribute the, uh, the ability to have more access into vulnerability management, ethical hacking, uh, threat identification and protection, and even information security infrastructure and information security engineering. A lot of that was made possible for me by the Certified Ethical Hacking Program. Oh, CEH has impacted me greatly. I've, um, I've actually had so many different benefits from going through the CEH program. Uh, I believe the primary benefit that the CEH program has allowed me to have is the ability to have the mindset of hackers with malicious intent to access and damage private and publicly owned computer systems. Um, being able to actively think as a hacker and proactively have that mindset and applying it to my understanding of information security has really allowed me to recommend the implementation of security controls, policies, protocols, procedures, and actually put in place countermeasures that has led to the direct creation of a more secure IT environment and in generally a more secure IT infrastructure. On a more personal note, uh, with CEH specifically, it has actually opened up access for me to have more managerial roles and higher pay than many of my colleagues who have not had the CEH training or have gone through the CEH program. The understanding and exposure that I've had from CEH to all of the information that I have and the knowledge that I used has really allowed me to take leadership uh, in many of the teams that I have worked with and has allowed me a role of oversight and um, to be able to guide, help people understand and manage tasks that, are, that have been assigned to our team. And not only that, is a, it has actually opened up the door for me to do something that I really enjoy, which is the ability to mentor and guide others in understanding and then following work with me, take leadership in their own teams and be able to further access more knowledge and more success. Oh, absolutely. CEH has actually opened up so many doors for me to, um, to engage with the community, specifically through one of my favorite activities, which is mentorship. Um, I've worked with many institutions, including Silox Solutions, which is the um, institution where I did my training in mentorship. I have had the honor and the opportunity to work with other candidates who are interested in, uh, in the CEH program and acquiring their CEH certification. I was able to discuss with them and guide them on the value and importance of CEH as an IT certification in their career, uh, how it's going to impact the roles that they are interested in, and also begin to provide them support on the concepts and principles provided by the CEH program to allow them assistance in successfully acquiring their CEH certification. 
even um, I've even worked with some of them following their CDH certification to be able to bring in that knowledge and that understanding to activities of you know their um, daily aspects of daily tasks in their everyday job. Along with that, actually, CEH has also provided me the opportunity for public speaking as well. I've attended many private and uh, and public conferences and seminars and um, and public speaking events, where I also had the privilege of working with non-security professionals to be able to make them more vigilant and more aware to the nature and importance of information security and uh, general IT security within you know. The aspects of their daily lives by discussing topics like identity theft, uh, ransomware, spyware, phishing, social engineering, email security, PII, and other topics which we might not take into consideration but are actually very impactful in our daily lives. Definitely the security domain, as I believe the security domain is the one that is most related to the everyday activities and tasks that I do in my normal job. Um, the hands-on element of the CEH program was also very beneficial to me as it really helped me to cement my understanding of the concepts and principles that I was studying in CEH. I, um, I actually remember doing the, uh, the five-day CEH program and I think it's, it's not very easy to identify whether five days is actually enough to be able to completely understand and, and strongly grasp the content that the CEH program provides within five days, because that really uh, varies from one individual to another based on personal capacity. But from my initial experience and from how I went through the CEH program, I believe to be able to properly understand and grasp the knowledge of concepts and principles provided by CEH and bring that understanding into a real world application in your everyday job, it would probably require more than five days. Absolutely. I definitely attribute a significant part of my success to EC Council and by extension the CEH program. Uh, CEH has really allowed me to replicate the hacker mindset, uh, which has been really beneficial for me in my work in making sure that I am successful in creating more secure IT environments and IT infrastructures. It has also allowed me uh, a greater understanding of information security and it has really enabled me to have a more holistic approach when it comes to working in the cybersecurity field. Uh, I really want to extend a huge thank you to the team at EC Council for putting together such a strong program that has really helped me and a lot of my colleagues, supervisors and mentors in our lives as information security consultants. And I really look forward to expanding my exposure to the IT field and you know, expanding my understanding and furthering my knowledge um, with the EC Council through its programs and its various certifications.